Hello, hello. So I thought I would do a playlist on uh, YouTube where I show you how to install and manage a Minecraft server on a Linux server. So this will be the first video and it's about installing Ubuntu server. And right now I'm running the 1710 version. And I'm just doing this in a virtual machine just to, so that I can record it. And it's going to automatically change some resolutions here during the uh, installation. So I might adjust the uh, screen a bit. But anyway, uh, this is how it looks when you first boot up the installation. And I just select, you can select, use the arrow keys. And I just select English here. And you now have this little window here. And what you do is that you also here you can use your arrow keys. And just select install Ubuntu server. And you get this little menu. So let's see here if I can adjust this a little bit here. Something like this. And like this. So this is kind of the resolution it will be. Okay, so this is basically the uh, installation, guided installation, so to speak. And here you can select the language for your server. And uh, I want to have English here. And um, select your location, the, where you live. And I live in Sweden, so I go down here to other. Go up, select Europe, and I'll just press S and then go down with the arrow keys and select Sweden. You can select whatever you want wherever you live. Press Sweden and configure locales. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any locale for Sweden here, so I just select the closest one here, which is United Kingdom. And now you should configure your keyboard layout. You can detect keyboard here. I have a Swedish keyboard and you can do sort of the auto detect here, but it doesn't work for my keyboard for some reason. So I actually select no here. And if you select no, you get this list. And you can select keyboard and I click the S key and then our arrow keys and select Swedish. And then Swedish again. Now it's going to do some stuff here. So on the network stuff. And hostname, which will be the same thing in Windows as your computer name. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to name this VM. And uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, I try to keep it uh, within eight characters. Then you press tab to get to continue. Full name of the user. Uh, 
I'm going to have it uh, test or mine aft user <laughs> and you get this suggestion here uh, to have this uh, Minecraft yeah I can have that as a user account and press tab and enter choose a password uh, just have test here for now type it again press tab twice it says it's a weak password and uh, use weak password yes use the arrow key encrypt your home directory uh, no uh, time zone Europe Stockholm in the top cor corner there yes correct and I select here guided use in entire disk press enter and then it will show you the drive I just press enter here and write changes to disks yes Now it's going to do this for a little while here. And of course, of course, this depends on the hard drive you install this on. I have four hard drives running in RAID 0 with mechanical hard drives. So it's, it's okay, it's not the fastest, but it's a lot faster than a single drive. And of course you can have this on like a uh, SSD as well. That's even faster. And I'm actually doing this in real time so that you can see how long this will take. I'm not going to skip anything. HTTP, HTTP proxy. No, I'm not using that. Just press tab and enter. And of course, if you use a proxy, you can enter that there. And I'm not going to have automatic updates. I'm going to manually update. And this is kind of important. Um, I'm actually going to have a couple of things here installed. For example, lamp which is uh, a package of software the L I don't know what it stands for but the A stands for Apache which is a web server I'm going to need that later and in this package M is for MySQL and the P is I think is for PHP so I want to install this so first you have this red dot so you have it on the lamp and then you press space to select and you see a star there so now it's selected then I'm going to have also Samba file server because I want to be able to access some folders from my Windows machine space there and also open SSH server because I want to be able to use PuTTY from my uh, Windows machine so space there as well then you press tab to get to the continue so enter 
And here's the uh, password for my SQL server. Uh, test one. And if you don't uh, install the lamp, you don't need to do that password. You go, you won't get that question. Moving stuff here. So yeah, this will take a while. And why I want to have the web server is because I'm going to have a uh, dynamic map on the Minecraft server. And those that sort of map will be on the Apache web server instead of the sort of dynamic map on the uh, Minecraft server. Because those files are huge. Uh, well, they are not huge, uh, they are small files, but there are a lot of them. So uh, the map itself can be very big in size, file size. So um, that's why I want to have it on the server instead of the, or the web server than on the Minecraft server, because I want to be able to back up my server. Uh, Minecraft server and it will take forever to move that dynamic map so uh, because there are so many of them the map I have right now on my server is I think it's over 1 million small images <coughs> they are like a couple of kilobytes each <coughs> but anyway if you have a couple of millions of them you know they can get very big and it take Last time I actually compressed those, it took over two hours, I think, to compress those files. So, yeah. So that's why I have it on a separate web server, and so that, that I can easily back up my server. So it's almost done here. And next thing will be a uh, question about Grub, which is the bootloader. At least it should be. Here comes Grub, yes. Here it comes again. Install the Grub bootloader to the master boot record. And I press yes here. If you have multiple drives, you can switch it to a different drive, but it's a single drive here. So I just press yes. So it's actually almost done here. And you get this, and if you install this on a real physical computer, and if you have it on a CD, it will now actually eject the CD. So you should now remove that CD, and then you can actually restart. But this is virtual machine, so I can't really do that. Because if you don't remove it, it will start the install again.
All right, so now it's done loading. So now you can actually log in. And it was Minecraft test. And um, yeah, and you can see here now that you there are 30, 38 packages can be updated. 22 secured updates so let's do that right now and you do that by sudo apt-get and upgrade enter the password again it will ask you if I want to continue and I press Y for yes and then enter This will take a little while as well. And by the way, I don't recommend you have a password called test. <laughs> Just uh, use a little bit more, a bit more uh, secure password. I'm just I'm just doing it for this video tutorial. And it's done. And I'm actually going to do uh, a test upgrade check as well. And uh, there's nothing. And now you actually need to reboot this. So you do sudo reboot now press enter and it will reboot Alright, so uh, now you're actually done. So uh, this video is now complete if you do the, if you install this on a computer. But if you do this on a uh, virtual machine in VMware, uh, you know you can see it's quite a small window, and you can't really change the size of the window here. Well, you can do that in VMware, but the server won't change. So there's a little bit of a trick to do this and you need to change the grub. So I want to show you oh, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, to be able to um, change the resolution in uh, VMware here, uh, you need to change the grub. And first, you do you have to edit a um, the grub file. So sudo. Uh, I use nano. I am used to that. Uh, then etc default and grub password. So this is how it looks and what you're going to do here all the blue text are just comments it's what you need to go down here to the where it says cmd, CMD line linux here at the end and just press enter here and this needs to be in all capital letters so you're going to add a line here called grub underscore and GFX 
payload. Gfx payload underscore Linux and equals and then the resolution. And I'm actually you have to try this out. Um, I checked on a, another Ubuntu, sorry, Ubuntu desktop to see what resolutions are available because um, you can't type any resolution here because it doesn't work. So it needs to um, work with the VMware. And I'm going to use, um, I put some resolutions here in the video description maybe. But right here I'm actually going to type uh, 1440 and an X and it should be a small X. It's not capital and then uh, 900 and then the uh, sort of uh, color depth, the bit color depth, yeah, the 32. And that's it. And now you press Control O to save it, save the file, and then Control X to exit. And now you actually need to uh, update the grub uh, itself. So you do that by sudo update dash grub2. It's going to update the bootloader. And now you can actually reboot. So sudo boot now. And the resolution should now change pretty soon here. And there we go. So now it's a little bit bigger at least. Uh, Right, so now we're actually done. So that's it for this video. And uh, in next video, I will uh, sort of install some Java and stuff that you need. I also configure the Samba server. So yeah, that's it for now. So see you later.